I just got home from training and I'm about to uh, have a little bit of rest before I go to karate. Um, but I just wanted to share two things uh, in this update. The first of which is how funny he knew is. Um, so I haven't seen him for a couple of days because he, um, he went to Bangkok with his son because his son fought on Saturday and then he didn't tell me that he wasn't going to be there yesterday. So he wasn't there on Sunday for training unexpectedly. And then he wasn't there this morning and he didn't tell me. So I was all like, I was talking to him on the phone, really upset that he didn't call me and let me know that he wasn't going to be around because just let me know. Um, but so when I saw him at the gym today, I was kind of being a jerk. So I kind of like squinted at him and I was like, oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't recognize you. I forgot what you looked like because I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> he kind of like, he kind of like laughed and thought I was being weird or something. But there's this term, it's called like a callback. And it's a, uh, it's in, you know, like a stand up set or something where the punchline of a joke later in the set calls back to a joke that you did earlier in the set. And that's what P. New did, because he's funny. So me being like, oh, I, I forgot what you looked like because I haven't seen you in a couple of days. Uh, when we get in the ring to do our pad work, first thing he does is just nails my leg so hard and goes, remember that? Do you remember that? <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, no, I remember you now. I didn't forget that part. So that was funny. Um, and then the second thing I wanted to talk about is just that I have been so tired. Um, and that's okay. Like, I'm tired a lot. And I can kind of work through it. And so it's just kind of like, you know, tired doesn't stop you kind of thing. And, and it's real, like, you know, fortitude and all of these things. Um, but I'm, like, not doing well. Like, I'm tired and I'm not doing well. I'm doing better than I think. But it's, it's very difficult. And Pinu's noticing it. So uh, today he's like, why are you so tired? He's like, for four days you've kind of been really shitty. <laughs> I'm like, you haven't trained me for two of them. Um, but it's one of those things where like when you're really tired but you're doing well, you can still be confident. So how do you stay confident when you're not doing well um, is hard. So uh, I've been kind of dealing with it just in terms of like your body's not the same all the time. So you just kind of have to keep pushing through it and it's not going to stay like this. Um, just as much as like your awesomeness does not stay, your shittiness doesn't stay either, like you just go through phases. Um, but something that I've been challenging myself with mentally lately is something that I got off of a wrestling podcast, it's called Wrestling Mindset, and you can get it off of uh, iTunes. It's really, really low budget, <laughs> so if you're looking for like a super high quality sound podcast, it's not that. Um, but it is a really, really good uh, mental training tool. And I was first introduced to it by Mei Lin, who is an MMA fighter in Australia. So hat tip to her. Um, anyway, so I've been challenging myself with this thing that I got off of the um, Wrestling Mindset podcast, which is that whether you're winning or you're losing, you should look the same. And you kind of have to think about that to really know uh, what you're looking for there. Uh, and it is a positive thing. So it's basically you're not over celebrating and like coasting if you're winning and you don't look defeated if you're losing. You should look the same. So I've been trying to deal with my tiredness that way, which is basically that um, if I'm super struggling on the inside and kind of want to die versus I feel like I've got some energy to burn, it should look pretty much the same. Um, so I know I suck. I know I don't have energy. I know that I'm really like burning on fumes, but it shouldn't look like that. Um, so. I've been kind of focusing on that in the past couple of days, trying to make that the thing that I'm really uh, focusing on. And I think that I'm doing all right. Um, it, it definitely is a challenge and it's something that I'm still, you know, tweaking. Um, but I watch Angie sometimes on the pads with Pinu's brother, who's really tiring, like he is really tiring. Um, and she, you know, makes these sounds and kind of like flops around and stuff because he's so exhausting. I'm like, does that make you feel less tired? And she's like, no. I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't do it. She's always asking me, like, why I'm not tired. And I'm like, oh, I am. I just don't show it. Um, so there are times that I'm better at it, and there are times that I'm struggling with it. And right now I'm struggling with it, but that is my mental challenge at the moment, is whether you're winning or losing, it should look the same. Whether you're exhausted or have some energy to burn, it should look the same. So um, that's, that's my goal. Um, and I was clinching with D today, and he was just wrecking me and he was really tired too and he's like oh tomorrow I'll have more energy and I was like shit hopefully I will too so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow after I wreck D how about that